Have you been denied an FHA home loan because of your school loan payments? Hi, my name is Jason Skinnerud. I'm a mortgage loan officer, and today I'm going to be talking about uh, some changes that have occurred with calculating student loan payments on FHA loans. And so I hope that you'll find that this information is helpful, and consider giving my video a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. To begin, I really want to say that this video is geared towards those who uh, currently have school loans that are deferred for less than 12 months, or they may not show a current school loan payment um, because their loans are in forbearance or another status. On June 21st, 2021, the Department of uh, Housing and Urban Development released or published a letter that revised their student loan payment requirement calculations. And the current rule since 2016 has been that we've always required the greater of uh, whatever shows on the current payment on the credit report or 1% of the total loan amount. Now the HUD mortgagee letter uh, 2021-13 has modified that policy and what they've done is they've updated it to conform with a variety of the school loan repayment options that are out there. And so now school loans are calculated at a greater of the posted payment or one half of a percent of the current loan balance. So how does that help you as a borrower? Well, the Federal Reserve statistics show that students have uh, a total loan debt in 2020 of over $1.54 trillion. And 54% of uh, college or university attendees uh, have an average school loan debt of $37,000. And what that does for you is typically before, where we had to calculate your monthly payment on that $37,000 average of $370 a month, we can now reduce that down to $185 a month. So it allows you to either qualify for more or actually qualify when maybe you didn't in the past. So I hope that uh, you found the information in this video helpful. And if you have comments regarding this topic or uh, you know, feel free to ask them in the comments below. And if you have specific questions, I'm also gonna include all of my contact information below and be sure to check out some of my other videos and thank you for watching.